Hey Disney fans, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the brand new D23 exclusive Giselle and Edward set. But first I thought I'd go ahead and show you, I was able to get my hands on a replacement set of the Aurora and Prince Philip. So I am super excited. This box is in perfect condition. I mean, it's just a few bends in that ridiculous sleeve. Like there was one right here, but I'm not worried about that. So I did get a replacement set. I'm excited about that. It makes me feel good that I have one in the box. As you can see right there, I do have the other set still. Haven't decided yet what I'm gonna do with them, but we'll go with that at some other point. However, I do have with me the Giselle set. So we're gonna go ahead now. We're gonna take a really good look at this beautiful set that was released at D23. Okay, so here is the D23 Disney Designer Collection Midnight Masquerade series Giselle and Edward set. So of course there is Giselle's masquerade mask on the front. I do like the idea behind these boxes. However, I hate the boxes. So they really could have done better. These sleeves are junk. Um, the only good thing about them is, is that they are collapsible and that's about it. Otherwise they are junk. Um, there is the D23 Expo sticker. And then you can see there's more cutouts along the side along with the gold embossing really do like I said I like the idea behind these but they just did not execute it very well at all there is my new Aurora set sitting there um, I might do one uh, a review in the box just because I wasn't able to show you guys the box but I haven't decided yet so there is an opening at the top these do say Disney designer collection midnight masquerade series unlike the Ariel and Vanessa dolls that say nothing at the top <laughs> But here's the back of the box. It says, of course, again, Disney Designer Collection Midnight Masquerade Series. If you'd like to read a little bit about the dolls, you can there. It's in English and then again in French. Also, of course, states that Certificate of Authenticity and Display Stand is included. And then the price on these, they did raise them, was $199.95, which I know made a lot of people angry. Um, but it is what it is. There's the beautiful artwork done by the one and only Steve Thompson. So we have Edward in the background and then Giselle. A lot of people were really upset that it didn't include Robert, but what we have to remember is Robert is who she met when she was not animated. This is an animated doll series. So they had to use who she was with at the time that the animated portion of the movie was going on, which is why we have Edward. So I'm perfectly okay with this. It does not bother me that Robert's not in this one. Um, if they had used the live action versions of these two guys, I would have had to pay the actors and actresses royalties and that would have been a very, very expensive deal for them. So I am perfectly okay with the animated. Plus we get to see again, Steve's beautiful artwork. So I just wish that this is what her masquerade um, mask looked like instead of being all gold, but you know, we don't have a lot of control over that, but beautiful artwork nonetheless. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna turn her back around and I'm going to get this sleeve off and then we'll take another good look at the box and then we'll take the plastic off. All right, so when you have the sleeve off, you are left with this nice big open window. Basically what these are is these are the Disney Premiere Series boxes turned around. So um, instead of the front portion um, being flat like it is on the Premiere Series, they've turned it so that the back is now the front portion and it does of course give you more viewability, which is kind of nice. But um, this is the box and there's this is another cover. So this cover does come off too, but I didn't want to show it to you. So there's all this really nice script and scrolling work along the edge of the box. Coming down, we have that same script and scrolling. The box almost has an ombre effect. It's like this really pretty maroon color at top. And then it fades down to black at the bottom. And I think that's really neat. So you can see there, Giselle and Edward, limited edition, one of 900. And then uh, if we turn it, of course you can see better there, probably the ombre effect, because it does turn to a darker color. And then on the back, we have the artwork again, which of course you've already seen. And the, we will now get this slip cover taken off as well as the plastic so that we can get a better look at the dolls. Okay, so no glare, we love that. These are a five part box. So we have the slip cover, the portion of the box the dolls are in, the back cover, and then we have the plastic portion and the cover that goes in front of that, which I have sitting over here to the side of me. So a very, um, Oh, there's just a lot of moving parts to this, it seems like, but it's all good. Uh, there is a cutout portion that goes all along like a frame here in the back. Like it is a good inch away from the back of the box itself. There's a cutout chandelier there, which is really neat looking. That cutout work does go along the sides. And then coming down here, 
We have more of Steve Thompson's artwork there as a pop out. It's really, really cool. I will not be deboxing these ones. As I said, I don't debox. That a set right there will be the only ones that are out of the box. And that's just because of the unfortunate event that happened with that one in the mail. So these ones will stay in their box forever and ever, amen. We'll start with Edward first. So I think this looks pretty decent. Um, if you take a look at him against the animated form of him, I think they did a really good job. It has the monogrammed E there, which I think is really cool. He's got his puff sleeves, very, very much like the movie itself. Very cool. I love what they did with the guy's hair this time. It's got like a shimmer and glitter effect to it to kind of go along with the Masquerade set uh, series that they have here. The idea, I think it's really neat. Gold embroidery, of course, on his sleeves and on his chest. Uh, this ac this is probably a, the, one of the most accurate movie uh, to the movie uh, outfits I've seen uh, when it comes to the male dolls. I think it's really, really cool. He's got his cape here. It's gold on one side, black, well, dark purple velvet, excuse me, on the other. Here is his masquerade mask, which is really, really cool. And of course it does have the two ribbon tails that um, would tie it around his head. I did not and will not, of course, remove those. So that is what they are. If you're running with these red um, stripes here, that is the twist wire that is keeping him uh, standing. Of course, he does have his black boots and he does come with his own stand. So really, really do like this Edward doll. I think he's really cool. Um, it's funny, having one out of the box, the Aurora and Princefield kind of makes me want to take these out of the box, but it'll never happen unless I get my hands on another set. So we'll see. Moving over to Giselle. I am so, so glad they chose to do Giselle for this series. We hardly have any um, like enchanted merchandise to begin with. So to get a limited edition doll set was awesome. I do need to go in and kind of fix the hair on mine. You can see here it's kind of wispy and the curl looks a little weird um, right here, but it's all good. She does have rooted hair and rooted eyelashes, just like all other limited edition princess dolls. She has a headband of flowers, which I think is gorgeous. And then her dress is very much like what she wears in the movie. It's not exactly alike, but very similar. We've got these little puff flowers here on her shoulders. There's gold embroidery along the sweetheart neckline. It's an empire waist, so it's right below the bust. She's got this really neat tied area. I think it would have been pretty with a bow, but they didn't put a bow. Uh, but it has these ribbons that come all the way down, and then those ribbons are then tied to the dress there. This over portion, um, I think it's like a, a sheer material of either organza or gossamer or something, um, does have some flowers on it as well as some little jewels you can see there. And then coming down, we do have more flowers and more jewels. This is pleated, so I really like how it kept that shape. Really, really cool. Coming down to the inner portion of her dress, it does have gold embroidery, some clear crystals, really, really well done. I really, this was probably my favorite set. Um, Sleeping Beauty was my second favorite. And then if we look through here, we can kind of see Giselle's shoes. She does have the um, pointed feet, even though she does not have heels on, which I thought was kind of strange, but it is all good in my book. So her flats do, of course, form to her feet. But this is a very beautiful doll. Her hair is amazing. Got a lot of product in it to keep it curled, but I do like it quite a bit. Um, the color is accurate. Everything about her is wonderful. I am really excited. Her mask has so much detail in it, it's crazy. It does have some embedded jewels here and here. It's got flowers all along it. Um, just a really neat little touch and a neat little uh, piece to add to this amazing, already, like just like I said, absolutely amazing D23 exclusive set. Of the 900, I did get number 414. So there is their um, little certificate of authenticity. If you'd like to read it there, you can. Alrighty guys, thanks for joining me on my review of the Giselle and Edward set that was released at D23 uh, this year. Absolutely love the set, one of my favorites of them. Um, I'm really, really excited I was able to uh, get my hands on one of these. A massive thank you to my friend out in California, Jay. I appreciate you um, standing in line at D23 and getting me this set. I am super excited um, and I just, I love this set. So thank you so much. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a thumbs up. Leave some comments down below if you have any questions about this set or any of the other sets that were released at D23. I only did get this one and the Aurora set. Um, I did not get the Tiana set. I just 
Tiana's one of my one of my favorite princesses. I just did not care for that set. So this one and the Aurora set were my favorites. So, so glad I got them. But yeah, leave some questions down below. Leave comments down below. If you haven't already, guys, do consider subscribing. This is what we do on my channel. It's a lot of limited edition doll reviews. Um, yeah, you can see there. Um, those are all shopping haul stuff that I've done in the past. We do Disney pin mail and uh, all kinds of other Disney stuff, but it's all Disney all the time. So if, th if that is your thing, definitely make sure to hit that subscription button as well as the notification bell so that you know when my videos do come out. I do post three times a week, Wednesdays, Saturdays, and Sundays, unless of course I have something special, then of course I will post that uh, intermittently there uh, just to get it out so you guys can see it too. Alrighty guys, again, thanks for enjoying. Thumbs up, comments. I hope you're all having a very magical day and we will see you real soon.